Hey guys, welcome to Freedom in a Budget. It is budget report card time. So this is my mid-month budget for September, even though it says August up here. I guess I didn't change the date. Um, but this is September, if I can smell. So September 2018 mid-month budget report card. As you guys know, I follow the Dave Ramsey zero-based budget. So every dollar has a name and everything is accounted for. At the end of the month, I will zero out my budget. So everything that's left over will go to a sinking fund and there will be no money rolling over. I am going on two weeks of a cold. So if I do sound a little hoarse, if or start talking, or my voice is a little lower than normal, that is why. So just bear with me. I am so sorry for the sound of my voice, but I am slowly getting better. Okay, let's jump right in. As always, um, our income from our primary jobs is blocked out. Interest, we haven't gotten our interest yet for our sinking funds, where we keep um, Kepler 1360. Per diem, Jamie is going to be going away on a gig, but he hasn't yet, so he hasn't gotten his per diem yet. Side hustle was $274.34 so far for the month. So two babysitting gigs, one was $50, one was $200, and then Amazon at $24.34. Sinking fund transfer, we're going to get into this in a little bit, but that was $141.17. For a total in so far are $4,700. $93.30. All right, tithe is blocked out as always. Rent is the same at $1,610. Electric is $71.64. So we were about $6 over this month, but that is okay. Um, iPhone, internet, and Weight Watcher, or internet, yeah, iPhone and internet we haven't paid yet. So those will be coming out in the next couple days. Weight Watchers, $10. My work pays for half of my Weight Watchers, so that's why it's only $10 and not $19.99. Leandro, the boy that we sponsor in El Salvador, he, um, his payment hasn't gone through yet. Movie Pass, this all the way down to Google. These are all um, Jamie's accounts um, and subscriptions that he has. Um, so those are all getting paid. Groceries, it was a short month this month so far because we were out of town for the first week. So I did one mystery shop at Winn-Dixie that I'm gonna get $9 reimbursement for, and then um, I spent $14.47, and then two little trips to Aldi, $35.99, and then $9.29. And then let's see here, next is Jamie eating out. He spent a total of $92.62 at Miller, Starbucks, Chick-fil-A, Chick-fil-A, and Taco Bell. Next is per diem, and per diem is zero. He hasn't spent it yet. Um, Kelly eating out, I spent a total of $9.73, and that was Panera on the way home. I was kicked out of work because I was too sick on a day last week, so I stopped um, on my way home and got some soup and a sandwich. That was $9. Kelly pocket money, $59.45. That is um, for my new Savvy Sense wallet. If you guys saw my wallet, um, my cash envelope wallet, I got a new one and showed it to you guys on the Monday this past video, or this past Monday. And so go check out that. That was $33.25. And then I got some paparazzi jewelry for $26.20. Next is Jamie Pocket Money. And he spent, um, he did some stuff with Microsoft, a haircut, Venmo, and um, another haircut. Oh, haircut is in here twice. All right, we're gonna have to fix that. Let's see what else. Gas, 6107. This was um, just two Phillips. Jamie did a Phillip and I did a Phillip as well at Cumberland Farms. Next is miscellaneous expenses, $321.33. And that is some Amazon. I got an SD card for FinCon. Sinking fund, everything highlighted in yellow is what comes out of our sinking funds. So um, some at Walmart, a mission trip, that came out of spontaneous giving, CVS, that came out of medical, that was um, cough stuff. 
for me. Um, Christmas, did some Christmas shopping. Um, so yeah, so different, a couple different purchases so far. Then next is our vacation to Massachusetts. We spent a total of $379. Um, I think 200 of that was on seafood. We did a lot of seafood, but definitely go check out the vlog. I'll have it linked at the end of this video um, for you guys. We had an absolute blast. We went exploring in Maine, in New Hampshire, in different parts of Massachusetts that I've never been to. I'm from Massachusetts, but out in the country. And so we did some exploring in Boston and north of Boston and just had a blast and checked out some lighthouses and there's dogs in the video. It was a really, really fun video to do for you guys. So this was our um, vacation. Next um, here, and we spent a total of $2,850.50 so far. Um, debt, zero dollars. As you guys know, we are debt free, but we keep the debt line in here just to, to remind ourselves of where we came from. All right, and my favorite part, sinking funds. So we have baby step three is complete of six month emergency fund. We have $25,000 in it. Over here to the side, you will see our sinking funds. This, cat this column right here is the category that the sinking funds came out of. This is what we spent it on, and then this is the amount. So once I, I've got some questions on this, and this is, it's confusing, but trust me, it, the math works out. So when I add the sinking funds here to the spreadsheet, I also add, add it to here as well, which then makes it an income. So it's pulling it out of the sinking funds. And then I also subtract it from this account. So for instance, the, um, the hat Christmas, the $23, this was $23 higher, but once I added it to my spreadsheet, I subtracted it from the um, savings account and from here, and then I added it back in income because I'm counting it as income because I'm transferring it from my savings account to my checking account. And then it virtually cancels itself out with the expense up top and the income and then this expense logged in the spreadsheet. So I know it's confusing. If you have any other questions, I will also have my sinking funds video linked for you where I go through that in a lot more detail. Okay, and then just to go over what how much we have in each sinking fund right now. Christmas, we have $542.78. Spontaneous giving, $150. Clothing, $53.37. Laptop, 203 Car repair, $14. New car, 18224 uh, excuse me, $18,024 and 11 cents. We're getting so close to that new car. I think in the next couple months, we're going to be able to get it. Um, building fund at $12,770.32. Home improvement, $152.49. Gifts, $60. Vacations, $1,529.05. Medical, $120.79. Car insurance, $1,240.70. Renter's insurance, $120. Per diem rollover, $188.40. Phone repair upgrade, $800. Jamie's desk and tech stuff, $450. YouTube taxes, $477.63, so for a total in our sinking funds of $61,896.64, which is so exciting. So that is my September mid-month budget. Let me know, guys, how you are doing for the month. Is your cash envelopes going strong? Are you doing cash envelopes? If you aren't, it's not too late to start cash envelopes. It's not too late to start your budget for September. You still have a week and a half left to do it and to finish the month strong, log all your purchases. It, it really does make such a difference when you are on a budget and it really gives you freedom. It gives you freedom to be able to spend the money that you budget, that you have put into your budget of your personal spending money, your eating out money. That way, when you do go to Chick-fil-A or Starbucks or whatever it is, you don't feel guilty because you've given yourself X amount of money to spend each month. Now, if you're going over that money, that's a totally different story. But as long as it's within the 
the parameters and the money that you've put aside, you have that freedom to spend that money, guys. And that is so amazing. And that is so rewarding. And it just, it's so liberating that you are in control of your money, not your money in control of you. And that it's such a game changer, guys, and such a change of your mindset. And I really believe that once you have that mindset and once you have that belief, that's when you're gonna see changes in your budget. That's when you're gonna start seeing those money moves and then when you're gonna be able to pay off that debt and get that side hustle up. Sell stuff, it's sell stuff September month, guys. It really, really does make a huge, huge difference. So let me know how you guys are doing this month. How can I help you? What questions do you have? Um, stay tuned for next week's Dumbing Debt Friday. It'll be a great, great q and I am so excited for it. It's gonna be a really good one. So let me know, guys. I would love to hear from you. All right, I will talk to you later. Bye.